So today I'm doing that burn video that some of you have been waiting for. I'm sure some have not. But that's okay because I'm going to burn anyways. And while I'm doing something that I'm going to do anyways, I'm going to make a video. So I do have smaller pockets of old brush and debris and stuff that does need burnt. And that's going to get done too. So stay tuned, will you? Some of you that were with me a year ago probably remember the Amish coming in here and I did a lot of timbering and whatnot. Well, not a lot. I think I got ended up with three loads or something like that. But these are the tops and the branches and different things like that. And I never ended up getting around to burning this. And this is part of the what I was calling last year the video field. And it's about, eh, I'm going to tell you, four to five acres right in that range. And... But along here, along the edge, I had a lot of trees down. Well, you saw in that last video, DJ cutting with the Husqvarna 372. Well, it was a lot of this wood and stuff that was laying down in here. But I do have to burn this brush pile. I don't think I'm going to do it today. But I am going to try to burn this, uh, the weeds and stuff like that that are around it. So let's see if we can light this up. I do not use accelerant. I don't use diesel. I don't use gasoline. Um, you know when the conditions are right when you don't need to use an accelerant. And I don't want to be dumping that stuff. Oh, there's a rabbit in there. Watch it. It goes weaseling through there. Uh, I will be destroying habitat, for the rabbits anyways, but improving my field. Now let's see here. Now we've had uh, a couple of days of rain, <clears throat> real good rain, but the difference is now you can see the vegetation and stuff that is really taking off around here. That's going to absorb a lot of the rainfall, whereas in two months ago, if we got that kind of rain, it was on like Donkey Kong. I mean, it was just straight flooding and, and pooling and, and whatnot in the field, but here it's well absorbed. I'm going to say 75% of the water that we get now is going into plant life. And that, that is making a difference. Uh, they did stock the creek on Friday, so it should be loaded with trout. But I don't have time to fish. And quite frankly, I haven't even bought my license yet. So this seems to be taken off okay. I'm not a real panic uh, fire starter, you know. I, if I can light it in the smallest spot first and get it going out from there, then I'm happy. I don't want a bunch of fires going on at once because if one of them gets out of control, I can't go back and tend to the one that's, or the, the four or five or six that are in control. So that could also end up getting out of control. So I just, I take my time and this doesn't look like it's going. So I'll light it in a different spot. No big deal. Again, not all of this stuff is uh, bone dry, but it's dry enough to burn, so we'll make it happen one way or another. And again, no accelerant, so I shouldn't have said one way or another. These little... Most people use a, a, a drip torch when they're doing control burns. I don't because I'm not a drip torch. What they do is they'll go along and they'll, they'll drip the fire, drip the fire, drip the fire. I pretty much am lighting this in one generalized area. Yeah, and the whole goal is just to get this opened up. So that it could be planted and the Chinese are buying our beans so we'll see if they recover at all price wise and go up got a good one going actually this brush pile here or this grass pile isn't as dense as it appears uh, it's pretty sparse there's a lot of spacing in between the I don't know what you'd call these goldenrod or whatever but uh, it's just not dense enough to burn on its own so I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is when I burn that brush pile right there, I will use accelerant for that. 
and uh, I think it'll get hot enough on a dry day where it'll come back and burn the rest of this. I mean, this spot here burnt pretty good just for the simple fact that it was condensed, you know, and then it burnt okay, but you get up in here and everything's all spaced apart. It's not, there's nothing there to burn really. Although I could burn, I could light this right here and probably do okay. That'll take off all right, but still it's not burning the way, you know, a field would burn. Nowhere near it. You get a little bit of momentum and then it just fizzles out. So this isn't going to be burnable without, like I said, burning that brush pile and having accelerant in here. And, um, but that's the only way I ever use any kind of accelerant. We still have time. I'm not in panic mode at all. Uh, it's May 5th today, and I won't be planting beans. I'm going to tell you, I've planted beans as late as the Memorial Day weekend and had a bumper crop of beans, 50-plus bushels. So I know what my capabilities are here. But I do have to get this cleared, fertilized, and limed. Although I should have done that in the fall. I didn't either way. Lime is lime. It gets in the dirt when it gets in the dirt. And the pH here is uh, 6.3, I checked it. So I can work with that, you know, but I am still going to lime it. It takes three years to raise the pH one full point at two tons an acre. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do and probably accomplish. So this is wanting to take off, but like I say where it's not dense, it just dies out. So I'm going to let that burn and then come over here and look at it. So this is all laid down. It's a little bit more coagulated, if you want to use that term. I do, so I did. And I'll try burning this here. Now, if it wants to burn, it will. If it don't, I'm not going to force it. You wait a couple of days when it's drier, and things work a lot better for you. Take a peek back at that fire. Yeah, it's burning okay. I can say I, I do expect that to fizzle out, though, based on what I'm seeing there. This is the stuff that burns just fantastic. This stuff here just, you got a field full of this, man, and it just goes. Yeah, this is what most of the field consists of, is this kind of grass here. It just lays down. It's real dense. You know, dense and it, a lot of energy there. It just burns really well. By the way, I am on the board in the county. My name, address, and phone number. So, any neighbors are watching this, of course, it's not live. Of course, it won't be the last burn I make. I, I am covered, so go ahead and call away, dudes. It's actually one guy doing all the calling all the time. He's the same guy that I kicked off the property, so he's got he's got beef. He thinks he does. You know, it's like this. If you want to control the land, own it. If you don't own it, you don't control it, and that's how it works. That's the United States of America. Property rights are among us, so that's how it's going to work. See that stuff there? Just, you know, and when I go out to the field, you'll see <laughs> the difference in trying to burn that over there and by the way that little fire is already out and the field full of this stuff here it's night and day yeah this this stuff here burns a lot better a lot hotter it is a bit of a head fire just based on the fact that it's a west wind so the wind's going in that direction but uh, this is just a little warm-up of what's to come so here we got a pretty nice tree. It's going to make good firewood. It uh, It's cherry right here. Hopefully you can see the outline of it. But there's a bunch of stuff and just crap around it. So I'm going to burn around this wood, try to keep it contained. Uh, you can see where the new green grass is growing. Try to keep it contained this way because there is some dead stuff under that that I think could catch fire. 
I definitely don't want that stuff to burn because it could take off into the pasture. You can see the pasture is really greening up nice. Uh, I don't want that dead in there. I want this to stay alive. My main goal is to contain this and I'm going to burn it and this stuff will go up like wildfire. So wildfire is not a term I like to use when I'm doing a control burn because that means you're not even remotely in control of it. So I'm going to start up here and just let it burn on through right there. And let's begin the fun. I do have a shovel in hand. I'll burn it right about yay. It don't take much, you know, just get, get the fire started on something that something that burns really well. And again, I'm going to stay on this side of it. So when it gets stupid, I keep it in control. Now, I don't like to burn on super windy days, but I do like to burn on semi windy days because what that does is it speeds up your process uh, instead of an, a, a three hour burn taking three hours on a, on a day where there's no wind a three hour burn can take you know four four and a half hours because it's just that much slower burning so I do like a little bit of wind it based on what the fire looks like at this point in time it is a uh, a swirling wind but but mainly going that way which is a western uh, an easterly direction so that means it's a westerly wind and stuff so we're going to get these trees exposed here so DJ can come and cut these into six foot logs and make firewood and that's how we do it here on this farm now you can see what I do here if it's burning back ways the ways you don't the way you don't want it to burn you just take your flat your shovel and just smack it out you know take the oxygen away from the fire it dies it's real simple keep it burning in the direction you want see there's a little backfire here I smack it out with the shovel we're good to hook let's go let's burn and we're heading that way right there we're gonna burn this whole alleyway of dead grass and get that out of the way so the grass doesn't get caught up into the chainsaw and whatnot so I've pretty much decided since the wind isn't really blowing at all it's not gonna matter where I light this based on the fact that I'm not going to be able to get a head fire out of it so I come down here and I lit it at both ends and I'll just burn it right together this fire will meet this fire and we'll expose this log and that way we'll be able to get it cut up without getting a bunch of crap and stuff in the chainsaw and it is different a few people did comment on the last video wow he's not wearing chaps wow he's not wearing a face shield wow he's not wearing well, you know, it's like this. Some people ride a motorcycle, they should wear leather, they should wear a helmet, they should wear gloves, but not everyone does, you know? I highly recommend it. I highly recommend being as safe at everything you do as possible. But you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. You can only recommend it. An adult will do what an adult will do. And here we go, we're uncovering the log, one flame at a time. I don't mind if it burns back that way, but I'm going to stop it from burning any further than where I'm at right here. Sometimes a fire will look like it's completely out of control and really freak you out. But, uh, you know, a good, a good control burn should look that way. see that'll open that log the rest of the way up and be able to pull the truck right here back right in cut this into six foot logs and get it right out of here that's the goal see if you can get this grass burning that goldenrod as sparse as it is will still burn and uh, right now that is a northerly wind so it's working real good at the moment Be nice finally getting these out of the field so I can get my field back. Last year, you know, uh, beans and corn were down, but 
I did some timber and so it took the edge off that's for sure really made a difference I was able to go through a bad year and not really you know starve to death so to speak as a figure of speech and see now the wind shifted back out of the out of the west so that's good knowing and this fires coming my way coming in fire in the hole walk right through it I can tell you even a little fire like that roasty toasty so my job's gonna be to make sure there's another log right here and my job's gonna be to make sure that the fire doesn't jump on this side of the log and burn my pasture out and kill all that luscious canary grass and everything else that's in there Johnson grass and you have it yeah see that's burning good over there now real good put this out the back fire I'm letting that fire do its job and it's doing a good job right there we got fire here we got fire here I just got buzzed in the ear by a bee not stung but buzzed so about 60 degrees out today but when you're playing with fire it's about 104 so I like to burn usually I burn in March when I do the field burn I'll explain why I wait I've learned to wait as long as you can to do a field burn, so we'll get to that in another segment. I'm going to smack this out because there's no reason to burn here. You just take your shovel and you smack it and you keep it going the direction you want it and you'll be alright. See, I like this concept. You, you got a fire here, you got a fire there, and the two meet. So they, they run out of energy. They extinguish themselves. When they talk about fighting fire with fire, this is what they're talking about burning out the energy you know if you have about three people you just you can really do a nice burn you know and it doesn't take much to get a couple shovel smackers you know put some shovels in people's hands and tell them to pat that fire out you know like there's a back fire here somebody can walk over and put the smack down on that put the smack down on that and just extinguish it with the shovel no big deal Keep the fire going in the direction you want and you'll be a winner this is going pretty hot too it's just the grass burning it's not gonna damage the firewood or anything like that and we got fire on this side of the log so I'm gonna put that out again no real big deal nope no nope. cause for panic even if it got out of control and did burn into the pasture you know, the worst thing you can do is try to try to try to freak out and beat it, because that's that's how you're gonna lose your life. Life limb and, and or the pursuit of happiness. So these two fires have finally met, you can see. And this fire is just going right down the line as planned. I'm very happy about that. So this log here is now exposed. And that fire is crackling and burning. <laughs> 